500 buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a gradient sphere design using gradients as well as 3D and patterns. Now, first thing to do, just going to go over here to the gradient tool. See the gradient tool there. And I've got a gradient here. Now, these are available on the Graphic Extras website. But uh, of course, you can create very similar sort of gradient designs very easily. There's 32,000 gradients available on site. Okay, I'm going to apply it to a layer, but you, you don't have to apply it to a layer, but I'm just going to go say layer, new layer, click OK, and I'm using it in difference mode and angle. So I'll just add that quickly, and I'm going to apply it twice. You can create an interesting color design. You can do it three, four, five, whatever, and you can also modify the color using the image and adjustments. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to blur it slightly, only just slightly. I don't like the sharp edge there, so I'm just going to just make it a little less pronounced. Now, once I've done that, I can go to 3D and new mesh. from the, Now, you should be able to do it using the background as well, so you could just go without creating the additional layer. It's not probably necessary. Right, mesh preset and sphere. Now we go sphere. Right, now I've got that design there and you can see rotate it, rotate it around depending which angle you want. Right, at that point, I think that looks about the nice, nicest sphere. And now what you can do, just quickly go to layer and smart objects, convert to smart object. I don't want it as 3D anymore. Still want this as a sphere, but I don't want it in 3D space. Now, what you can do, you can actually resize that a bit. I'm just going to reduce it down a little bit. Not going to have it so big. Okay. Going to get rid of the background. So bring up window and layers. I want the background. Remove. Yes. Okay. So you've got this sphere now on a transparent background and what you can do then you can just go over here to selection tool and I'm just gonna select that just there now I can go to edit and define pattern click OK now next stage and I'm just gonna go back all the way back what I want to do is go to the edit and fill and select the pattern option. And I'm going to select the one I've just created. I've got obviously one I created earlier, so is that one. And select the script, make sure that's on, and random fill. Click OK. Now, there does seem to be perhaps a bug there. But anyway, maybe it's just. But undo and just go to fill again and script random fill the key thing is to make certain it definitely is on and certainly now it comes up with the dialogue right maybe in your version it might be fine it might actually do it first time around but anyway you can modify the density and maximums and minimum etc rotate pattern so you can actually have it twisting and turning as well as modify the color randomness click OK and there you have it a super colourful background in a few minutes. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.